We well, join us here on Claret's Playroom with Martin Dobson, who's about to watch for the first time some cine footage we've received of the club of that great day in 1973 when we won the title <laughs> at Deepdale. So, Martin, give us your thoughts on this amazing yeah. day. Sun was shining, the pitch wasn't in great nick, and I remember that. And uh, um, But I think the pressure was off, Darren, to be, to be fair, because we'd already uh, got into the top division. Tuffy, uh, Billy Ingham, yeah. yeah. Oh, Billy has signed as Frank here. Is this before the game was only? You've been on pitch just yeah, for a walk. One that's before right. just, just have a look. Well, not a warm, but just have a just look have at a look the around. pitch. Yeah, yeah. I mean, that, that's the thing. You never went on the pitch. In look at that. Is, is that, that you there? That's your brown that's suit. That's mine. The old brown suit. Yeah. And look at that. Have and the hairstyles got... are a bit different as well, aren't they? Look at that. <laughs> we still bit, got that. A bit more bonnet on there. Um, that's but, Keith Newton, of course. Yeah, what a great player Keith was. At class, he came in at the start of that season, of course, and, and really lifted the side in every, every area. Do you remember these moments before the game? Um, no, I must admit. Uh, I remember walk, walking out there, and uh, and to be fair to the Preston players, uh, um, they they lined up to uh, applaud us onto the field because, of course, we'd already got back into the top division by then. That must be one of your highlights, surely. Walking out there that day with the Preston fans and a full house yes. cheering you out as champions yeah. or as promoted we're, team, promoted I should team, say. Yeah, that, that's the th that's the thing. It was a it was a long season, but it was very enjoyable because we felt right throughout. We had something special, um, and I think it started to be fair to us uh, the season before because we won the last six games of the season, uh, the previous season. So we knew that we were. There was something special going on within the football club then. Jimmy Adamson, of course, was manager. And at the start of the season, Keith Newton came to the football club on a free transfer from Everton. So his experience, you know, with the likes of uh, Dave Thomas initially, just in front of him, and then Leighton James took his position. So that experience of and, and the, the blend of youth and experience and excellent players mm. coming to the top of their form as well. And it seems incredible now. We're talking about 40 players playing, you know, whatever games. We had to play 42 games. I know it's 46 games this, uh, at the moment. Um, but the majority of players, we, I think we only played 13 players right through mm. the season. So the majority of that team played at least 39, 40 games. And so we had a terrific team spirit, a bonding. I mean, Jimmy Adamson, as we, we mentioned so many times before, the 1970s, you know, team of the 70s, he became the manager at that time after he wonders as a, as a skipper for the, for the club and, and also a coach. But um, we had a few injuries at the start of that season and we were relegated. And Bob Lloyd, to be fair, you know, I mean, he's got his critics as well as people who think he's done wonderfully well for the football club as chairman. But he stood by the manager at that mm. time. Easily could have gone then. Yeah, yeah. And Because uh, I think there was, uh, there was some uh, dissent on the terraces at that time. You know, he's, uh, he's a great coach, but he's a bit of a manager. Stuck by him, and within two years we had a wonderful season. We're back in the top division, and we and and even now, you know, he didn't take anything for granted, did Jim? Because he was, I mean, he's up there now. He's my mentor, of course, eighty odd years of age, and uh, he was the captain of the club when maybe they felt they should have won the championship in '62 mm. as captain. Mm. But it slipped, and uh, I think was it about ten or eleven points, and Ipswich did him on the line. So during that season when he was manager, Jimmy always kept our feet on the ground and saying, you know, we've won the game today, right? We move on to the next one. And and even now, when you look back, I talk to all the players now, and and we and it was a wonderful time for us. But we don't realise how good it was at that time because you're working hard. Of course, yeah. You know, you want to win the games, you want to play well, and also, but then you think, right, put that one aside, we're looking for the next one. We want to get out of this division. So it's only when you can reflect, and, and in instance like this, the Preston game, it came to fruition in the last, last game of the season. And how does it feel? I know you, your memories of the, the day aren't that great, I guess, in some respects, but you're the captain of the side, yes. leading the team out, yeah. and Preston have formed a guard of honour there. Yeah. I mean, that, that's, those are great days. Great, absolutely fantastic. I mean, I've just seen a black and white photograph of that. And, and of course, there's no video camera there. And, but it's, it's, it's very nostalgic. Uh, of course, I was pleased as punch. It's a great privilege for me to be captain of this football club at that time. I mean, I, I became captain at 21, 22 years of age or whatever it was. And that was, I'm thinking, wow, there's experienced players, international players in the side at that time. And, and, they, and they've asked me to be captain. And I'm thinking, oh, wow, can I take that responsibility? But um, I grew in it. 
I enjoyed it. We were playing with, with players who we could trust as well on mm. the field. Good players. But when we came to that game against Preston, we're thinking, well, we've, we've done all the hard work. We've, we've got back into the top division, which was our goal at the start of the season. But come on, we want to be champions. We want to feel the, be the best team in that division we knew if we got a point then that was good enough the funny thing of course Preston were on the other extremes they were they were fighting against relegation and they needed a point to stay up but uh, we weren't thinking about that through the game I mean people said before but we were looking like we've done in every single game to win the game to win the game. That's all we wanted to do. And then we're going to be champions. We know that. Did you see, did you know about this before you came out, the Preston players with this guard of honour? Well, I was only told by Jimmy um, 10 minutes before the game started. And he said, well, Preston have, have asked, that you know, they, they want to do that. Oh, that's fine. That's fine. Now, whether it's a bit of, I don't know, were they, were they hoping to... Kidology have, there, a bit of friendship, yeah. Friendship, you yeah. know, there's always rivalry, isn't there? Can Preston? we have a point, please? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> And we never thought about, oh, well, that's very nice. And I didn't think about it. I just thought that it, it, it was their recognition that we got back in the top division and thanks very much, and they get on the game. But we knew it, there, there was no quarters asked or given as soon as the whistle went for the, uh, for the kickoff. So you run out at Deepdale in front of this huge crowd. Yeah, yeah. And the atmosphere was tremendous, of course. I don't know how many Burnley... I mean, in those days, Darren, as well, of course, Burnley supporters all around the ground, weren't they? And but on the with, pitch as well, looking at it. And pre- <laughs> on the pitch, yeah. And they said, I don't know, before the game or after the game or whatever, but um, the atmosphere was electric as well. And uh, and we felt right through the game we're in control, and, and yet they scored the first goal, didn't they? Sure. And then yeah. Colin Waldron goes down in, in folklore. Yep, and here we right. are, the lads coming off at the end of the game yep. as champions. As champions, and uh, there you are leading them off. We don't look right happy there, do we? We just uh, maybe we just accepted it, or are we disappointed that we didn't win the game? I'm not quite sure, but um, yeah, it was a great feeling in the dressing room, and uh, yeah, the atmosphere there. And you were telling me that before you went up on the balcony, and we'll see the balcony shots in a second. Yeah. You're in the dressing room. There's a lovely picture I know of you and the team with the trophy. But he earned the trophy. It's not. It's not the trophy. It's not the actual trophy for winning the old second division, which I think now is for the the championship trophy. But it was Colin Waldron. Uh, I think produced a, an old golf trophy that uh, he took away in his uh, in his overnight bag and produced it when we were in the dressing room. And so he had it up there, and everybody thought that was. Oh no, it's a golf trophy. But it was, uh, it was, a, it, was a lo- it was a lovely moment for Waldo, and of course with him scoring the goal as well. I mean, I'm not quite sure because there's nothing on the video or footage about how far he was off. You know, when he scored the goal, it's it gets further. Strike. Every time I speak to him, he gets further out. Well, that's right. It's on the halfway line, now, isn't <laughs> yeah, it? Yeah. A Fifty yard or whatever, and he smacks it. But it must have been at least 22 to, uh, to you know 25 yards out and he's hit it and and the funny thing is when he, I, I'm not quite sure did he hit it with his left or his right I'm not quite sure but during that spell because we were a great team for keeping possession of the ball we knocked it about two touch football you know control the ball pass and move and when Moldo comes forward and he's got the ball I think Moldo pass it pass it it's like anything pass it and then he hits it and think what's he doing boom Gregor. Well done, Waldo. Fantastic. <laughs> yeah. So let me get this right. You're, you're celebrating promotion by drinking champagne out of a golf trophy. I, I think that was it. Or a flat beer. I'm not quite sure. Or orange <laughs> juice or whatever. I'm not quite sure whether they managed to let us do anything like that. I know we went back uh, to the turf and uh, the chairman was there, invited us into the boardroom. I think that was the first time any of us had been in the boardroom. And before uh, that, of course, you had the, the celebrations. I mean, the lads have been mobbed here on the way off the pitch. Yes, yes. The fans... All over the pitch, as you'd expect, as they still are these days. Yes, yeah, and 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 it couldn't have been any better. Down to be fair, as we talked about Preston, they got the point, so they stayed in the division. We we were promoted as champions to the top division as well. So as you say, it's a win-win situation for everybody. And uh, people thought there was a bit of skullduggery going on that um, as soon as the equaliser went in, there was a standoff and everybody's <laughs> no, not tackling anybody and, yeah. the, and, and the ball's around their halfway line. But there was nothing like that at all, apart from Frank Casper mentioned something to me five minutes from the end of the game. And um, we were doing something in the corner. We could keep possession for fun. And I said to Taffy or somebody, hey, Taffy, whip it in, to, whip it in, you know. And then Frank came over to me five minutes, you know, five minutes from the end, double. We've got a point. We can. So you, 
your mentality changes yeah, then. Yeah. It was only a few minutes from the end of the game. And I've talked this with all the other players on the field and I said, did, did you realise, you know, we only need a point and they, they were sorted, everybody's happy. Nobody did in our, in our team, nobody. You'd, you'd uh, be investigated way. by FIFA nowadays. I think we know. would do. <laughs> <laughs> I, think, I think we would do. Yeah. Yeah. I think we sure shot a Bob Lord there, just in, in in the top of the stand, waving to the crowd. And I know the players make a brief appearance. The footage at this stage isn't that great. It's a yes. little bit in the shade. Yeah. But I mean, the crowd by this stage has just invaded the pitch. Yes. Yeah. Um, wonderful scenes. Uh, we went, as you say, we went back in the dressing room, and then we were invited up. Well, I think. Um, you know the 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 fans are demanding that we go up and uh, and uh, it's etiquette. That's what it is. Yeah, that's right. That's right. And but on a rivals' ground as well. It's not bad. No, it's it was it was terrific, and um, and and fans from both clubs uh, saluted their players as well later on, and uh, and we acknowledged them because we had terrific support right through the season. And in closing, Martin, how good is it to see that footage? Well, it brings back memories. I mean, it's funny when we all get together now, boys, and sadly Keith's no longer with us or Billy Ingham, but the lads, when they get together, we we realise what a very, very special football club this is and mm -hmm. how we were so lucky to be there at that particular time. And, of course, being the captain of the side, it was, uh, it was just absolutely terrific for me. History's there for the making again. Thanks for joining us, Martin.